Hi, welcome to this video about how you can set up price metrics inside workshop software. And so you can set all sorts of different pricing structures for your customers based upon different types of products. Let's jump in there and check it out. So if I go into settings, there is price metrics on the menu. So what we can do in here, if you've got no price metrics, they will, this is what the screen will look like initially. So if you go create new, what I can do is I can give it a, a matrix name. So for example, if I call it trade and go save, that will create a matrix called trade. Now what I can do now is I can add a single product group or I can go and add all product groups. So if I click add all, it asks me if I want to do that. Yes, I can and it goes and adds every product group that I've got set up in my system. The next step I can take is I can just go, I wanna mark this up by say 90% for argument's sake and go update. This will update everything in here that is zero or update all to be a markup of 90%. So here we can go update all or update only those ones that are zero. What I might do there is for example with let's say batteries, they might not get quite a big uh, percentage so I can make them say 50% for argument's sake or maybe I might make oil filters maybe you know 130% for argument's sake. So I can make them whatever percentage I want. So I simply then save that and then that matrix is saved. So you can add as many matrices as you want. So if I go create another one, I can go and enter another one. So I could have different levels of trade. I could maybe have matrices for particular types of clients. Like for example, you might deal with a mining company or a trucking company or a fleet company, the police, you know, something like that, a big organization. And you might wanna give them special pricing structures. And that's what this enables you to do. So what we can do now is if we go into customers and I'm just going to go and grab just a random customer and what I can do in here now is you'll see that the matrix applies for this customer or I can choose the matrix for this customer. So if I go under price type now, you'll see that the trade matrix is actually listed there. So I can place that customer onto that trade markup or that trade pricing structure and I can go save and then when I sell a product to that customer they will automatically get whatever I've set up in the actual price matrix. So as you can see it's really really simple to set up but it's super super powerful as well because you can have different types of product customers on different types of pricing structures and of course if I go into the pricing matrix you've got different product groups can have different percentage markups so it's a really great way of you to get the best pricing structure not only for you but also for your customer as well so that's how the price matrix works thanks a lot